Hello everyone. Welcome to another release of System Platform. This is Aviva System Platform 2020. This release contains some of the most user-anticipated functionalities, enhancements, and improvements. Aviva System Platform 2020 consists of new versions of Aviva Enterprise Licensing Platform, System Management Server, System Monitor, Gateway and Core Communication Drivers, Platform Common Services Framework and SDK, Aviva InTouch HMI, InTouch Web Client, InTouch Access Anywhere and Language Assistant, Aviva Historian Server and its clients, Aviva Application Server, and last but not least, Aviva Operation Management Interface. Without further delay, let's get to the details and demos. The InTouch HMI and the InTouch Web Client include many new and powerful features in the 2020 release. InTouch standalone applications now support industrial graphics, formerly known as orchestra graphics, natively, without the need for a Galaxy repository, the IDE, or even SQL Server. Moreover, we have eliminated the modern application type. Opening or importing a modern application will convert it into a native application. The web client has received a lot of attention in this release. You can now display multiple InTouch windows in the web client at the same time. After being converted to industrial graphics, they will appear in the web client just as they would in Window Viewer. Switching to full screen mode will give you a Window Viewer-like experience. Building on this functionality, we've added the ability to run entire InTouch applications in the web client, including multiple windows, industrial graphics, navigation, and the web client even honors the various window types, overlay, pop-up, and replace. This means you can now run your existing InTouch applications in the InTouch web client with little to no engineering effort. I'm very excited to announce that the InTouch web client is now available as a native mobile application for iOS and Android. It features high-resolution graphics, read-write capabilities, dynamic and responsive content layout, and even alarm acknowledgement. There are many other exciting features in InTouch 2020, so be sure to check the release notes for more details. From the beginning, our on-prem historian browser client could show summary statistics for common interval like an hour. Now we've added an option to have the same statistics calculated based on an event, such as a batch ID, product code, or a digital. Here, each group of columns represents a batch. Click on one to get the exact period with the option to drill through to a line chart just for that batch. Search is a simpler way to find data of interest, but sometimes you end up with a few extra results that can clutter your content. Now you can remove tags just as easily as you can add them. We have a new Excel add-in as part of Historian 2020. Works with 64-bit and 32-bit. Makes it easy to select tags. And also get information about those tags. And finally, I can easily get periodic statistics for those same tags. In 2020 release, major performance improvements have been made toward the user-defined object and area object template propagation. Table below shows the performance metrics Comparison for actual customer galaxies from previous releases to 2020. You will notice over 1,000% improvements in some cases. On this 68K object template, what is taking minutes on various operations with this release used to take hours and days in previous releases. Another powerful aspect of 2020 is layout scripting. This includes exposing the underlying controls for capabilities available in the script editor. You'll notice that when the alarm app is added to the pane, the preview of what this app looks like is shown in the pane. The WYSIWYG what you see is what you get will help the user to see the changes to, this, to the app as they configure it. This demo shows that alarm app and trend app 
controls are available in the script editor and these two layouts are wiring the app's capabilities to the graphics and script in the view app editor. This is an example that shows how scripting will open up unlimited possibilities for users to create customized behaviors for their own apps. With System Platform 2020, users can import WinForm controls, configure them in pane, and take it to the runtime. In this demo, Microsoft WinForm DLL imported using the app import workflow. This will provide a large set of generic simple .NET controls that do not have any understanding of OMI environment. By using the scripts, we can make use of these generic non-OMI controls to achieve the desired customization. That wraps it up for now. See you next time.